So I'm dealing with a lot of things lately, like, oof, my life has been a bit of a mess, but not as big of a mess as the last chapter of My Hero. Yeah, that ending was, uh, I wouldn't say it's the worst thing in living history, like some fans are trying to make it out to be, but it's definitely not the best. It leaves you unsatisfied. Definitely. But to say that I'm not enjoying any of the memes is a lie because, oh boy, there's a lot of memes out there and it's just getting worse and worse. For starters, preface this, there's gonna be spoilers. I'm gonna talk about it. The final uh, chapter, well, Deku loses his powers. The whole crux of being number one hero. Yeah, he doesn't get that. He settles with just being a teacher. What'd you say? I said, whoever threw that paper, your mom's a home. Granted, it is at the most prestigious school in Japan, so he's definitely getting a good paycheck, but that hasn't stopped fans from showing him as a McDonald's worker, like, <laughs> clocking in for that nine to five. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely taking an extreme turn. I say this because I saw an ASMR video of Deku working at McDonald's. Uh, and that's the story of how I became the greatest hero. Yeah. Get back to work! Oh, oh, sorry. Huh. Huh. Okay. Okay, let me just... Huh. There we go. But yeah, it's a true story. That's not very plus ultra of you. Whoever made this, uh, ooh, like this, this is a series that I've been attached to a very long time, a decade now. Growing up, uh, I, I really wanted to see the ending be a bit more. That's another thing. It was only like twenty pages. I really think it should have had sixty pages, like most. Manga is they start off, their first chapter is like 60 pages to, you know, uh, lay out the ground rules of what you're stepping in for this world. I, I think the ending should get that as well. It shouldn't just be a 20 page blip trying to wrap up everything. And, and that's the feeling I get from my hero's ending. It's, it's rushed. It's definitely rushed. It tries to tackle everything and it just doesn't work. Like here you could see like a montage of them like going through their school years, their last two years, graduating, and then boom, time skip, eight years later. And we see another kid like talking about, oh, I, I, I don't know what I could do with my strange quirk. And it's basically just emulating Deku's. Um, yeah, it, it's just... <sighs> and then we move to Deku as a teacher and uh, this is where a lot of uh, fans have been half and half divisive against this is that whether he's happy or not in this position and uh yeah I, I just say that although yeah it's realistic he didn't get his dream so he settled for something else but i'm not really looking for realism in a manga about a frog girl or some guy who could throw grape things from his head uh i kind of wish deku pushed forward even without a quirk got some Batman tools, which I guess in the end of the manga chapter, uh, he does get a suit of armor or whatnot, but it's just given to him. Like, Deku didn't really grow as a character. It, like, it took away the character growth, is what I'm saying. And a lot of fans who are against the ending say that as well, that Deku really didn't... He didn't really grow. He didn't like uh, get anything. It was just hand delivered to him on a silver platter. So I agree there. Uh, I definitely agree there. And it's just the whole aura that he has throughout the chapter is um, he doesn't seem, I wouldn't say happy. He's definitely all right, right? It's like you're sort of missing something. If you read like the there's a new uh, comic, the Ultimate Spider-Man comic, where Spider-Man or Peter starts off just a regular person, married, has kids, decent job, but he's always feeling like there's something missing. And that's because he's not Spider-Man. And when he does become Spider-Man, he feels that void being filled. This is what I'm feeling when I see Deku without his powers it, and how he feels throughout it, that something's missing. Because 
he wants to be a hero and uh it's not like in this world that you can't use tools and devices to be like batman there's a whole subsection of heroes that can do that support tools and whatnot and then there's the mention that deku says that oh his friends are so busy with being heroes that they haven't even gotten time to meet for eight years i doubt it means like um, the, he hasn't meet them one-on-one. -on -one. I just wish they showed that, like some clips of him and Todoroki uh, just hanging out. Like a, a little montage over the years of Deku hanging out with different friends of his through his school. We don't see that, so it, it sounds like Deku hasn't met any of them. I understand not meeting all 20 classmates together at one time. That makes sense. It's very hard to coordinate that after high school, let alone college. Uh, but it, it just feels Deku's lonely. It definitely does feel pretty sad. And then the worst part is you see like Deku walking through the streets. His friends have like perfume deals, Nike deals, sponsorships, Raid Shadow Legends, Nord VPN is just out there sponsoring these guys. It, they're, they're living Deku's dream. And that that's what I think what me and many My Hero fans felt is like... Deku is really uh, getting mistreated here, man. Uh, if you if you like the ending, that's fine and all. It's just... Uh, it, it just feels like there's a hole. It definitely feels like a hole when I read it, man. I, I really think the chapter should have been longer. Or maybe... Another chapter? Maybe expanding more? Uh, like, the character interactions are definitely missing. But going back to the memes, just this panel alone... I've been seeing this in so many different lights. Like, this is the day how I became the greatest fry cook or something like that. It's just, nah, man, nah. Like, seriously, the memes have been super spicy. Like, the McDonald's meme, Deku just working. <laughs> he didn't deserve this, man. He definitely didn't deserve this. You remember in middle school when you and your friends were bullying me and you found my hero notebook you told me if i really wanted to be a hero i should <laughs> take a swan dive off the building and hope to get a quirk in my next life yeah uh, deku i was 13 man uh, i'm sorry about that i think you were right <laughs> i should have did okay it. yeah uh deku my foot's getting cold so let me just pay for it and go i'm sorry but like god that's dark that is just way too dark man i oh my god these memes are just they're too spicy. They're way too spicy, man. But that's not the worst thing. The worst thing is that uh, they announced that there will be a secret project for My Hero. It, stay tuned. It's going to be announced Monday. And the chapter, I think, came out on Friday or maybe a, a day before. But regardless, everyone was hyped up. Oh, what could it be? Maybe it's going to be a, like a 60-page epilogue, like going more into the ending, giving some more breathing room like to, to tie up any loose ends. It was just a popularity contest being announced that's all worldwide. That's it. That's the secret project. Like, why would you hype this up? No one, uh, no one cares. Oh my god, it, it, it hurts. It definitely hurts to be a My Hero fan right now. Like, if Deku had no powers, I wish he was like... Moomin Rider, like, Moomin Rider was... He, he, he stole the show in One Punch Man. He, he was just out there fighting even without any powers, going up against, like, just complete monsters. Truly inspirational stuff. Hopefully, the anime can maybe add some good ending to it. Like, the JoJo Part 4 ending is, like, one of my favorites. Four minutes of content of adding more to what are the characters doing. You see, like, uh, even the side characters, the small characters. And it shows, like, their growth. How they've grown over the entire story. Yeah, I'm hoping my hero gets something like this, because... Please, please, I, I want to see what the other characters are doing, not like little blips of a picture frame or whatnot. I, I want to actually see them do things. Like there was a clip from uh, the Sky High Academy, whatever it was, um, the Disney movie, and uh, it just seems so wrong. Uh, excuse me, um, I didn't know you worked for the commander. I worked with the commander. We were a team. Mr. Mr. Stronghold. Stronghold. You Steve's son? Yeah. 
And he never, he never mentioned me to you? I don't, I don't think so. Makes sense. That makes perfect sense because the commander does not have time to sit around flipping through scrapbooks. This is, it just hurts to watch. Deku is just getting slandered all over the place here, man. I can't really blame any of this. Uh, but God dang it. I, I just wish the chapter at least gave Deku something, man. It, just, just saying that, oh, he's a teacher. Oh, he has uh, a decent paycheck. That, but that's just not what Deku wanted. That is not what Deku wanted at all. He wanted to be number one hero. And just him getting the suit of armor and whatnot, just... I think in the eight years, he should have been building that armor by himself. Or at least getting help here and there, wherever he can. And upgrading it over the years. And at the last eight years, it'll show that the uh, suit is uh, at the most perfect condition it can be. From prototype to this. People keep saying, oh, he's Iron Manning it. Iron Man built his own suit. In a cave with a box of scraps. Deku got it delivered to him by his friends paying for it. Which still doesn't make sense because one of the characters or maybe like... Well, no, no, I think Momo is the only one who's super rich. Or maybe I'm not Todoroki. Regardless, they could have they funded the suit by themselves. It, it could have taken a few weeks, sure. But it, this is Deku saved the world. The, J the Japanese government, world government should be funding this suit. <laughs> I hate these memes, man. But yeah, all in all, I would say Deku just not getting the recognition he deserves is what rubs me the wrong way. Um, sure, they showed the kid like, oh, you're Deku? But the way he says it is like, oh, I thought you were a myth. Like, he should be getting like interviews left and right people should be like wow Deku that you you did so much for us like really a myth in eight years like I understand like maybe 28 years or something but eight years people just forget how like how do you forget something like that I, I feel like someone who saved the world would be remembered for at least longer than eight years. This just makes me love Vigilantes more. That That's a good series if you're into my hero. Uh, Corkless hero, by the way, who pushes through and keeps on going strong fighting bad guys. I hope the anime does something because as it stands, Deku just looks like he peaked in high school. No, he definitely peaked in high school. He doesn't... <laughs> Come on, give Deku something he deserves better than this. I mean, I don't know how Jujutsu Kaisen is going to end. The author of that manga definitely hates his main character. But, like, Deku, come on, man. Please, I hope the anime, like, gives a bit more. I feel like the anime will, get, will give a bit more. Like, it tends to do... A bit better in uh, endings than the manga counterparts probably because they have more leeway to put in things <sighs> here's hoping man here's hoping but i talked long enough i've seen too much mcdonald's deku memes and deku getting just completely stomped my life i i'm just i just want to get past this Thank you all for watching. That's all there is.